Yeah, that's right, man. It's time for the song and dance. You back at the Beats and Brews podcast. I'm your boy, Rob Dorsey. And you know who this is. Never done JL, you know. Word, you know what I mean? How you doing today, cuz? Oh, man, I'm good, man. Word? How you I'm feeling good. I'm ba- I'm happy to be in your spot today, man. You right, know what right. I'm saying? You know what I mean? It feels real good. Right. Got the big comfy couches. You know, you know what I mean? Real Lessons Nickelodeon in here. <laughs> it works. <laughs> you know what I mean? So today we got a real special episode. It looks like, you feel me? Today we sponsored by my brother, Bruce Commodore. You know what I mean? Big shout out. I wanted to get his Instagram. I'm going to flash his Instagram across the screen. You know what I mean? So y'all can follow him and all that on there. But uh, yeah, the next two episodes are sponsored by my bro, who brought this beer? It's called well, it's by Fu Man Brew. It's a Belgian style wit, and uh, oh wait, is that Monday night? Monday night brewing. You know what I mean? So like, I I haven't heard of these dudes. That's some real rare stuff. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm kind of excited to get into it. You know what I mean? A lot. Shout out to Cuz. Word. Appreciate you, Cuz. I mean, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Fu Man Brew. Yeah, man. It's like a play on Fu Manchu. Mm. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? It was an ancient Chinese philosopher. They even did the racist thing and put the mustache on that guy on the <laughs> bottle, which I, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got on this thing here, man. Yeah. Don't forget, this the front right here for the mic. Okay. Yeah. Weekends are overrated. Monday Night Brewing, weekends are overrated. I don't see no percentage on here. No percentage? Uh-uh. What? Oh, here we go, here we go. 5.2 by volume. Mm. Let's see. It says, in a, in a perfect stranger, we perceive man himself. The image of God is not disguised by resemblances to an uncle or doubts of wisdom of a mustache. Hmm. Kind of Fu Man Brew, a bright, spicy Belgian style wit. Fu Man Brew is an effervescent. What the fuck? Effervescent. Effervescent, easy drinking <laughs> wheat beer brewed with Belgian yeast, German hops, and a whisper of ginger from the Far East. Mm. A light wheat based is the perfect upper lip for a pleasant tickle of ginger. This mustachioed Belgian style wit believes that good beer defies borders and good facial hair is timeless. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I like that. I like that. It says stalk us Monday Night Brewing. Stalk us at MondayNightBrewing.com. On Twitter at Monday Night, Facebook, Instagram, and on Snapchat, Monday Night Brew. Yeah, so follow them on all the social medias, man. Monday Night Brew. And it says, drink it with something nice. Has a picture of a fish. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a cabbage or I don't know. Some cabbage? I don't know what that's supposed to be. But, it might be cabbage. <laughs> uh, fruit or peppers. Mm. Okay. Say, um, so you got to learn about your beer. 15 IBUs. Mm. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Mm. Haler Tau Hops. Oh. German Pilsner and white wheat malt with the teen, teeniest bit of crystal malt and even teeny, teensier bit of ginger. <laughs> teensier. You got some crazy words on this shit. Well, yeah, man. They make enough words, too. Teensier. Shave. Oh, that's crazy. Hmm. What is shave? Shave by... 215 2017 What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have no clue. I guess this is referring to the beard or something? Maybe. I don't know. If y'all ever heard of a beard saying shaved by on the label or something, almost like an expiration date, let us know in the comments what it say, please. That's crazy. Word. Go down in the comments. Also, thanks for watching, man, and thanks for you know supporting us the way you have and you know, just uh, keep on coming back, baby. That's all we ask. Crack that thing open, cut. Yeah, we're going to crack it open. See, so it made a lot of mention of... Son of a... It made a lot of mention of uh, facial hair. Yeah. Right? So, would you say there are some iconic hip-hop artists who take pride in their facial hair? Of course. 
Who would you say? Who's I the mean, one that jumps out at you first? I mean, off the top, I think you got to go with Freeway. Oh, yeah. Uh, I say Ross. Um, oh, true, true. Who else we got? Uh, I'm getting somebody. I'm getting a few people. Would you Would you say uh, Drake does now? I guess you can say him, yeah. Because he's been bearded up for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, another new uh, Nips. Nips, yeah. yeah Nips, Nips, you can go on this joint. Nips' out. beard look crazy yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. His, his beard look like when his when his when his when his braids go when he, when he let his braids go too much. You know what I mean? Word up. Word. Let's I ain't see made what else we got on. Um, hmm. I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, for real, for real. That's probably that's probably it. You know what I mean? At least for people that's like, that, you know, made a point to have, you yeah. know, their beer be what it is, mm -hmm. you know? But let me see what this thing hitting for real quick, man. Now, you know, I ain't really big on wits or wheat beers, you feel me? So this is, this is something that's like, you know, it's a little taboo for me, but I love the, I love the story. It smells sweet, right? Yeah. Surprised they ain't mentioned no honey on there because it smells like it might be some honey in that man. Mm. All right, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I that's like that. One. I like that. Yeah. Did I mention grapefruit? I feel like it might be some grapefruit in there. Might be. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, that's good right there, though. Word. Got to kill witnesses because free beard sticking up. Mm. Mm. Shout out to Free, by the way. He just he just came to Delaware to do a podcast in Delaware on the uh, on the uh, corner store podcast. Oh yeah, King Dom. Yeah. So that Shout was that was dope. That was real dope. Hmm. Yeah, I like that right there. Yeah. But like, because you might just put me on to something right there, cause where you gotta let us know where you got it. I forgot. I forgot, bro. <clears throat> you know. But yeah, Belgian style whip, man. Hmm. These beard dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's 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 think of somebody who's failing on the beard game right now. You know what I mean? Let me see. Failing? Yeah, who's failing on the beard game right now? In hip hop. Uh, like, you gotta hold on, cause somebody was struggling with the beard. Oh, you gotta you gotta put Chris and Ethan there though. You remember how they was trying to go there and stuff? But it was always like, <laughs> oh yeah, you know, those like was, they was young as shit though. You yeah, know? they was, they was. Those niggas are still teenagers. Shout out to everybody who had that beard right there. It was like you know the, the uh, oh man, what can you even call that right there? It was, they called the uh, what they called the uh, <laughs> the pork chops, right? <laughs> they had them pork chops. The jewels that just come right here. Yo, I had them though for real, for real. <laughs> like in seventh grade, like uh, when the rock was real. You know what I mean? <laughs> I had them. I had them pork chops, <laughs> them pork chop sideburns. <clears throat> you know, but yeah, man, shout out to everybody that got the beer struggle going on right now. Word. You know, what I mean, everybody can't be luxurious like uh, you know my man Nerd Up Jay over here. You feel me? Shit, my you, shit, I gotta get <laughs> the groom in my shit. Hey man, you know, but you know it's a good thing, man. You gotta have facial hair in this world because it gets chilly outside. You know, Word. and like I don't care what nobody say, man. Men don't wear scarves. You ain't supposed to wear <laughs> a winter scarf if you me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, now, you know, unless you, you know, your OG, you feel me? Like my dad. He, he wear, yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad be wearing the most, you know what I'm saying? Nice scarf sometimes. Right. You feel me? But he understands, like, young men like us can't be out here wearing scarves and gloves and stuff, man. Who, who oh, does man. that? Who That's... does that? You know what I'm saying? When you get 38, then yeah, okay, but. Like, you still in your twenties, man. Put them scarves alone, man. Grow a beard. You feel me? No shave November. Yeah, I don't know though, cause like I don't know what else for this John. Yeah, you remember? Yo, you seen Big Sean's beard, right? Yeah. Do, I mean, is it weird to you or not? It. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I seen. Uh, I just seen on Instagram and shit, uh, Lil Duval had posted a picture yeah. of him and shit. He was like, uh, and he, they actually kind of look alike. They do. Like that and shit. Yeah, for real. <laughs> he was like something like, like this my son or something. Like, yeah, yeah, something. Yo. It was crazy, man. That's wild. 
He might be though, like, cause he Lil Duval was getting around. He might have, he, he might have slid up in something up in Detroit. You know what I mean? But like he, uh, yeah, he he definitely looks like Lil Duval now with that beard. You know, it's so crazy, man. That's my boy though. But they got a little thing going on between him and Kendrick. You know oh. what I mean? Big Sean and Kendrick. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They 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 piecing the part. They they taking they taking the part. A couple of lyrics, and you know what I mean? Apparently, they've been going at it for a little bit. You feel me? Oh, throwing sales at each other. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, like, apparently, the whole uh, Be Humble joint was he he ripped uh, Big Sean's style only to come at him. You know what I mean? And the, so, like, the whole hold up, hold up, hold up, bitch, sit down. He was, they were saying that shit was mm. all really, like, uh, directed towards Big Sean. And, um, you think that's his style on that? Though? That just that part of the hook, because it's like, mm. it, but it takes you to like, uh, it's a couple older songs. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, I don't think he was rapping like him too much, but like the, um, there was a line. Shoot, what was the joint that they brought up? They pointed something out. I forgot what it was, but yeah, man, I've been watching a whole bunch of this drama stuff, man. And like Big Sean one of the most underrated too, man. He really is, man. Right. He really is. And people thinking he can't compete with Kendrick, but I'm like, he can. I think he can. You well, know why he get overlooked so much? That motherfucker got bars, man. Yeah. And flow. Word. He I, think, I don't know. I don't know why. I think he just get he's getting swept under the rug or something. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, that's what it seemed like. I think that's why he grew his beard, because he was like, Man, I'm listening. I need to be seen now. <laughs> 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 oh, Kendrick got the beard struggle. He do. <laughs> he got those choppy ass beards going on right now, man. He, <laughs> word. Shout out to Kendrick though. You know what I'm saying? Don't diss me. Cause you know. I'm a fan, man. Yeah, I like that joint, man. It kinda like a kinda like a like you would think it's about to be bitter. But yeah. Then it just disappears before the finish. You know right. I mean? Yeah, straight up. Yeah. yeah, I see that. You know? And it gives you that sweetness. Like you don't really get that with wheat beers, man. You or wit wit beers. I guess it's I never even knew what a whip beer was. Yeah, it's usually like real like watery almost, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And real light right like real light tasting. You know what I mean? So it's like Did you say the wavy grainy is like that? Wavy grainy, wavy grainy. At Argilla? Yeah. No. Is that is that Argilla? I believe so. Oh snap. Wavy grainy. Is I don't that, know. I ain't have it in a minute. I haven't had that joint. I believe that's I, I did believe that's Argilla. Yeah, it is, it is. I just ain't I, I haven't had it. Wow, mm. cause they ain't had it on the menu in a minute. Mm. You know, speaking of Argilla, shout out uh, to the last episode seventeen. Word. It's live right now. You know what I'm saying? The uh, well, check that out if y'all haven't looked at it, man. Word, real dope episode. We had a lot of fun. And excuse me, we hope to do some more there. <laughs> Word, it's a beer, man. What can I say? Yeah, man. I, um, I don't know. Mm-hmm, man. Word, me neither. How about because look, man. Oh, let me show them the bottle. Well, you know what? You know you can go with since it's uh kind of uh. You said that's named after the uh, philosopher from where? China. China. Yeah. Well, I don't know whether that's necessarily food, man, bro. I don't know. Could you say like? You know, Wu Tang was heavily inspired by the culture over there, so they were. You know, I don't know. I guess you can kind of incorporate that with it. And there's some beards in you in Wu Tang too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Ghostface. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Raekwon got the beard now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah, they definitely were heavily inspired by Asian culture. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And, 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 and all that. And the um, the somebody playing tambourine, cut. <laughs> playing tambourine out here, cut. <laughs> that was weird. It's creative haunted man. <laughs> you got ghosts playing tambourines in here, dog. And it's like y'all talk about Wu Tang. Hold on, let me get the beat going. <laughs> Yo, but but yeah. So like, the thing I was gonna say was like a lot of the times when they depict Asian people. Like in um, cartoons and stuff, 
especially in America, they always give them that mustache. Mm, the, yeah. And they, you know, they call it the Fu Manchu mustache. And it's very, uh, well, from what I was told, I ain't, I haven't spoken to any uh, people of Chinese descent mm-hmm. or Asian descent in general to ask them. But, you know, from what I was told by people who have studied, you know, it is Excuse me. pretty offensive, you know what I'm saying, to to their culture, mm. culture using that. Mm. And, um, but then, it, you know, it's a lot more that goes into it, you know what I mean? So, like, they would uh, put the mustache on and then they would have like these big buck teeth and they would yeah, put yeah. the uh the bamboo hats on you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. and um so it was just you know that was the one thing i that's why I, you know i it, it kind of jumped out as racist yeah it kind of hit me but i think that uh they meant you know better i don't think they meant that by it you know what i mean i think they was just like hey man let's see where they're from yeah where are they from because i couldn't i i, I didn't even look uh, mm. Atlanta, Georgia. A town. Oh snap! What's good? That's dope. Yeah. That's probably the first beer that I seen that came from out of Atlanta. For real, me too. All right. And a good craft beer too, man. Yeah, that's dope. We gotta find some they more from Atlanta. Brewing, uh, brewing spot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a brew pub on Monday there. Monday night brewing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Monday night brewing. We brewed, looking at it for y'all, man. Bottled by Monday night brewing in Atlanta. Right though. If y'all got a brew pub, cause I'm gonna tag y'all. I'm gonna find y'all and I'm gonna tag y'all. If y'all got like a brew pub down there or something, you know, let us come down there do an interview with y'all, and you know, we do a podcast there on some of the other stuff that y'all have yeah, that we say, might not be uh, able to get here. Atlanta been running the, the music scene for yeah the last I don't say over a decade really. Yeah, for, well, yeah, it may be even almost 20 years yeah, because. Exactly. Hey, y'all, my fault, man. The damn camera cut off on us again, you know what I'm saying? But you know how it go, you feel me? Hopefully, y'all still enjoy the last, what, the last seven minutes of the podcast. And, you know, show some love, man. Exactly. It's 2017 now, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, 1999. Yeah. That's when it came through. Yeah. Well, that was New Orleans, but it was Atlanta was real close behind. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at first, uh, no, even Outkast wasn't even appreciated first. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Now, you know, they they, they celebrate it. Yeah, exactly. Where, you know what I mean? All over, coast to coast. People still dying for Andre uh, 3000 to come up with that uh, album. You know Are you supposed mean? to have another one? A solo album. That is, you're supposed to do a solo album. You know, people... That's what people want. You know what I mean? Yeah. They want that for the longest. Word. They yeah, need it. Yeah, because they That's had the love below, but. Yeah. <laughs> and you already know what was on there. Mm-hmm. That was my joint. I know. The prototype. The one. Yeah, that's that shit right there. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> In case y'all didn't know, I could sing my ass off. That's a joke. But I do be getting it in. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to Andre Three Stacks. Shout out to Big Boy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Outcast, Outcast birthed a lot of people. Shout out to Killer Mike. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to Smokey Brown. Killer Mike a dope uh, activist too, man. Yeah, yeah, he gets it in. He for the people for real. Yeah, man. You know I mean, definitely for the culture. Word and like he was advocating for Bernie Sanders heavy, mm-hmm. you know. And I mm-hmm. and Bernie Sanders was just live on uh, C-SPAN, like combating the bill. That um, Donald Trump was trying to push through, mm-hmm. and the bill, shoot, what was it for? I just watched this last night too. Damn, I forgot. It was a ban on something, right? Nah, this one wasn't a ban. It was like a, it was it was it was. Was this for? Shh, Nikes. I can't remember, man. Mm-hmm. My dad, my memory been messing up with me, man, because of this stuff that I'm going through and shit. But anyway, the um, Love Killer Mike, his Run the Jewels albums, with uh, LP, <laughs> some crazy spitting on there. Mm. You know what I mean? And even Kendrick said it. He was like, he said, people say they miss when hip hop was rapping. Really, if you did, then Killer Mike would be platinum. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? So like that just that just lets you know that you know other people 
you know, especially in the industry, they seeing this, you know what I mean, and they know what's up, you know. So, so yeah, and they just put down another. One. I think it was Runner Jewels three. I think they just put out. Mm. It's just a lot of spitting. I gotta check that out. Word, a lot, a lot of spitting. Jonesy put me on that shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Shout out Jonesy too, man. <laughs> <Word. laughs> Jonesy stayed up on that hip hop, man. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. He's a hip hop kind of sore right there. Word. Jonesy crazy too, dog. Like <laughs> we uh so we were celebrating my girl's birthday at our dealers on Friday. And like um Did you come out? Mm-mm. You had to work? Yeah. So we see, so we celebrating there. And you already know Jonesy there. And so, like, almost everybody left mm-hmm. except for uh, one of her friends and her friend's friend and Jonesy. So, we out. We just we just in here uh, talking and chilling. Girl's on. She was like, oh, my God, y'all should come to the house. Just come on down. <laughs> just come down. We'll, we'll just keep going and have fun. And uh, so, we, like, uh, uh, it's like two, it's like three other ones. It's like, I don't know, man. We tired. You know what I'm saying? We might just go to the crib. I don't know if we want to go all the way down there. They're like, yeah, come on. Let's go. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, man, listen. Just come on down. We can, you know what I'm saying? Do whatever. And uh, Jones was like, are you guys going to keep drinking down there? I was like, probably. <laughs> he was like, I'm going to run to the house and get some things. And I'll meet you guys down there. Right. <laughs> I was like, all right, Josie. All right. <laughs> so... I was like, yo, I, I went to her. I was like, babe, listen, Jonesy just went to the crib and said he's going to meet us down there with something to drink. You know when Jonesy go to the crib. You know what I mean? Back with some shit. He be pulling out, man. And so I, told, I was telling him, I was like, listen, it's about to get real. Y'all don't want to come down here. I ain't going to try to convince you no more, but we out. So, uh, so we end up leaving in about... Ten minutes before we get to the crib, Jonesy hit me. He's like, "Hey, man, I'm here." I was like, "What?" Oh shit! I was so quick. <laughs> so I'm like, "All right, we'll be there in like ten minutes, man." And so we finally get to the crib. Jonesy hops out the car with like eight bottles. I swear to you. Oh shit! He's like, he's walking around like <laughs> trying to get into the trying to get into the door, like <laughs> like you know what I mean. I'm oh, like, dog, Jonesy, what did you do? So we finally get upstairs. I grab one from him. I'm like, let me help you out. I can just grab one. The rest was in weird places. So I was like, if I grab one of them, mm-hmm. it might all fall. So, uh, you know, we get upstairs and like we uh, we probably drank out of one of them things. You know what I mean? For the two, three hours that they was down there. And like, I mean, it was cool. Though. It was a good night. You know right. what I'm saying? We was chilling. And uh, yeah, moral of the story. Jonesy got some weapons, man. Right. Jonesy got like a he. He just got he's he, he's a connoisseur, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, but yeah. So on that note, you got any less any less words for these folks out here, cuz? Oh man, try this thing out, man. It's pretty good. Uh, mm-hmm. Again, shout out to Cuz. Thanks, bro. Um, other than that, man, nerd up, man. You know, yeah. you know how it go. I can dig that. And if uh, any of y'all are in Atlanta, definitely look for Monday Night Brewing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let us know, or let them know that we said what's up, and up. have a good time.